hell did that guy go? I have no idea. Literally no clue. Okay, I think I was up here. Let's go up here. And where the hell did the guy go? Over here, maybe? I have no clue what I'm doing. Is that him? Looks like a crazy man to me. Okay, we got him. Hey, do we have a gun in our hand? You, you killed him. That looks like a son to me. A sickly son, perhaps, but one full of promise. He accomplished so much. Shoot all of them in the face. And now you've taken him from me, from us, like the apple. Oh, come on. We want to help the world. To save it from itself. Did we kill him? Yes. You're a fanatic of all your kind, maintaining the erroneous belief that we are evil, that the work we do is wrong. We enrich lives here. We save and transform them. But you, you just keep taking and take what is Hello, friends. Yours. So fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! Goodbye. Oh! So that's why we killed that chick in Brotherhood? You never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. Well, I'm proud, son. Killing themselves, holy frick. Freaking insane. Nice. The end is nigh. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. 
power source. Let's go do that. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I... Okay, where the hell do I plug everything in? Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington... Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. Let's get back in. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army. Their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of oh Charles Oh my god. Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace. And I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation. And through it, peace. Seventeen eighty one. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, Connor. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templar. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. <laughs> Did he just die? Holy frick. No, he's good. Just sick. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Gras said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you.
Charles Lee may have been dismissed, but it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly, so I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence Blow his brains him. out. We must kill Charlie. What? We have to go to the harbor master? What are we doing there? Oh yeah, we're gonna go get our ships off the coast. Charles Lee. Hello, my boy. Oh, no, that's not him. Don't want to talk to him. What the hell are we doing here? Okay, there's someone on ship. Oh, right there, yeah. There we go. Now, we move to the Battle of Chesapeake. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without fear. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown. Thank you, Commander. Yee-hoo! Here comes our badass ship, the Aquila. Okay. Holy fake! 